What is up guys? Coinstar1337 here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Bitcoin, the Bitcoin fork that's going to be happening August 1st. Also, what does BIP102 mean for Litecoin? So that and more is going to happen in this episode of Coinstar1337. Let's go. So anyways, guys, what you need to know for the August 1st fork is this. As it stands right now, Bitcoin is signaling for SegWit, and that signaling is going to fall through in about three days, two days from now, depending on when you watch this video. Then, two weeks after that, which will be around the 10th of August, SegWit will lock in BIP91. Then two weeks after that, which will be around the 24th of August, SegWit will officially activate on the Bitcoin network, and SegWit transactions will be considered as legal on the Bitcoin blockchain. Then, 90 days after that, about three months later, okay, around the 18th of November, is when BIP 102 will activate on Bitcoin. And that is going to be pretty much, that's SegWit 2x, okay. This is going to cause a hard fork and it's going to change the block size on Bitcoin to 2 megabytes. Now, that was the plan until we got a surprise announcement. Uh, just about three hours ago, Charlie Lee posted this on his Twitter. I'm going to leave a link to this below on how you, on, so you can read for yourself what you need to know. But we just got a surprise announcement for Bitcoin Cash, and they're going to be forking the coin on August 1st. So what's going to happen is, on August 1st, you're going to have the Bitcoin and it's going to go into the SegWit. And then you're going to have the um, Bitcoin Cash. So what you need to do is take your coins off of the exchange and make sure that you have them on your own uh, wallet or your own paper wallet and that you are controlling those private keys. Because when this fork happens, some third-party exchanges may or may not have your support. And you may not have both coins at the end of this fork. So that's what you need to know about August 1st. Get your coins off, have your private keys. Then, after this fork, after this fork completes, then in November 18th, we have to deal with the BIP 102 fork that's going to launch SegWit 2X. So guys, that is what you need to know. And if all this sounds complicated, that is because it is. I'm telling you guys, I'm just going, to, I'm just like this, bro. This is why I got the light coins. You know, Litecoin is a better coin than Bitcoin as it is. There's Lightning Network going to get implemented on Litecoin. And I'm just like converting the little Bitcoins that I do have. I'm just going to convert those into Litecoins and be through. You know, this is too much. Now, some people out there are saying, well, look, even if you convert your Bitcoins into Litecoins and it gets on the Lightning Network, if the fork goes through in November and Bitcoin gets the Lightning Network, then what's the point? of having Litecoins if I have Bitcoins and they can do the same thing. That's like saying, okay, why is it, what's the point of having Starbucks when there's Dunkin' Donuts? Or what's the point of having Coca-Cola when there's Pepsi? You know, if you even just currencies in general, if you look, there are many currencies, fiat currencies in the world. You got the Chinese yuan, you got the euro, the pound, the USD. There's not just one world currency. And it's going to be the same way with crypto. There's not just going to be one world crypto. And actually, Charlie Lee has posted this and he pinned it to the top of his Twitter about his vision for SegWit, the Lightning Networks on Bitcoin and Litecoin. And when you read through this, he actually makes a case for how this is not going to be bad news for Litecoin. It's going to be good news. And actually, it's going to be a tide that rises all boats. If, if Litecoin and Bitcoin are both on the Lightning Network, it's going to bring more demand for Litecoin. And it's actually going to be good news for Litecoin as well as for Bitcoin as well. And, you know, that argument too, before I just now I'm thinking about it about the fiat currencies some people can say oh well you know the reason why you had different fiat currencies because different countries force you to use the one of their choice so maybe that's not a good comparison but when it comes to coffee no one's forcing you to drink 
a certain brand of coffee, people from choose every day where they want to drink their coffee. And that's going to be how it is with these crypto coins. Different people are going to use different coins for different reasons. Litecoin is not dead. Segway is not bad news for Litecoin. It's actually good news. And that is what I think. And that's why I'm converting, you know, over to Litecoin for the rest of my coins. And that's going to be that. That being said, you have to do with what you want to do with your own coins. I cannot force or tell you how to, you know, you know how to spend your money. <laughs> that's your, you know, that's what you got to do. But that's what I'm going to be doing to prepare for all this drama. Also, guys, if you want to be entered for the Litecoin giveaway, be sure to look in the description down below. I have a link to my Steam page on how to enter for that. You have to be a follower on my Steam page, and the contest details for that is below. Also, if you're like, hey, I want to convert some of my Bitcoins into Litecoin, but I don't trust these third-party exchanges holding my coins, I'm going to leave a link to changer.com. It's like Shapeshift. You can convert your Bitcoin straight to your Litecoin address. No account needed. No need to worry about your coins being held on an exchange. And it also helps support this show because it's a referral link. So anyway, that's going to conclude this video. Let me know in the comments down below, what are you going to do to prepare for this fork? It looks like there's going to be three chains of the Bitcoin. What y'all going to do, man? All right, let me know, and I'm out.